Hello everyone. Welcome to eHealth Indonesia 2020 Goes Online. My name is Aris and I'm going to be moderating this webinar. This webinar is going to be presented by Ms. Madeline from Breda University of Applied Sciences. Please stay tuned until the end of this webinar because we will have question and answer session. If you have any question about the presentation or anything related to the country's higher education, you can submit your questions in YouTube comment section anytime throughout the presentations. Now, without any further ado, please welcome Ms. Madeline, time is yours. Thank you for your introduction. So indeed, my name is Madeleine Nouwen. I'm an international student recruiter at Breda University of Applied Sciences. And unfortunately, I uh, cannot be in Indonesia right now, um, but yeah, I will uh, still share all the information about Breda University of Applied Sciences um, in here and all, all the programs that we offer. I'm not alone. I'm here together with Adi Pratama. He is an alumni of uh, our University of Applied Sciences and he will share his experiences after my presentation. So please stay tuned. I will start sharing my screen now um, to uh, show you the presentation and I will um, talk you through it. So this is the logo of our um, institute. We changed our name and logo two years ago. So if you're looking for information, it is possible that you still find us under the old name NHTV, which is a Dutch abbreviation and it stands for uh, Dutch School for Tourism and Traffic, which is now logistics. But we have education programs in much more domains. We developed a lot since we were founded in 1966. So that is why uh, we changed the name, the color orange, which stands for the Netherlands, and Breda is the city where we are in. This is a picture uh, of uh, our campus. Sorry, Madeleine, would you please make yeah? it a full screen? Yeah. Uh, on I'm, the right, bottom, bottom right. I'm trying to make it full screen. Next, yes, that one. Ah, okay, thank you. Um, so this is our institute. Uh, we are a medium-sized uh, institute of applied sciences with uh, just over 7,000 students and almost 800 employees. We have about 20% uh, international students, which is more than average in the Netherlands. So uh, you will definitely not be the only international. Um, and as I mentioned, founded in 1966. What do we stand for? So since we are um, a rather small University of Applied Sciences, there is a lot of personal attention. So the classrooms are quite small. Uh, you work a lot in project groups and you can approach the teachers for everything. It is very informal. Uh, most of the teachers you can uh, call with their first name, which is maybe uh, a little bit different than uh, in Indonesia. Um, but yeah, that is um, how, we, how we deal with each other. Uh, we are diverse, inclusive, cross-cultural. That means that we welcome students from all over the world. And you can also do, uh, depending on the study program that you choose, you can do courses or minors from another study program. Uh, innovative, we are really following up with uh, businesses. So that we are University of Applied Sciences means that you get a lot of practical experience. And we take that from the actual working environment. So a lot of our teachers, they both teach with us and they work in the domain that they teach in. So for example, the teachers from games, they might still work at a gaming company or con do consultancy for them. And they bring to the classroom real life assignments. We do relevant research in every domain. And we do cooperate with a lot of international businesses and also partner institutes. And I have a map about that later. So in which fields do we offer study programs? We have eight different domains. And I mentioned already tourism and logistics. But furthermore, we also offer study programs in built environment, facility, games, leisure and events, hotel, and media. So those are the eight in total. We offer bachelor programs in all of these domains and master programs in most of them. Each domain is uh, specialized. As I mentioned, it's possible uh, to make connections and crossovers. A lot of practical learning. So apart from the theory, you um, do 
practical assignments by yourself, but also a lot in project groups. Um, and we offer bachelor's, master's, associate degree, and also pre-masters. This is an overview of all the programs that we offer, and I will uh, talk about them briefly. Please be aware that we have webinars about every specific study program. So because of the time, I cannot go in depth about them. Um, but if you're interested in a specific program, please sign up on our website for the study program specific webinars. So first of all, built environment. Uh, here you learn about mobility, urban planning and urban design. This program is rated as one of the best programs in the Netherlands and it won the first prize in the own category. Facility management. This is a program which is not so familiar internationally, but in this study program, you learn how to arrange a pleasant, safe, healthy and efficient work environment. So for example, as a facility manager, you make sure that all the employees in the company can do their work most efficiently. So you take care of the office furniture, of the climate, the, the air climate in the company, the lighting, um, all the things that um, employees need to do their work efficiently, you take care of. So you have to deal with policy, strategy and sustainability. And also this study program has the first prize in the own category. We have also a hotel management program. So now you might think what is different uh, about this hotel management program compared to, yeah, there are many, not only in the Netherlands, but also in other countries. Well, first of all, we have our own in-house training company. This is a restaurant called Sibilicious. And this is the place where both the hotel and the facility students um, do their projects. So for example, you learn how to cook in our own kitchen, but also wait the tables. And it is a kind of hierarchy. So as a first year student, that's what you do. And then the second year students, they manage the first year students. This is a restaurant where not only our own teachers and students can eat, um, but also uh, people who live in the city of Breda, they can come for lunch and dinner. They actually pay for the food. So um, this is a real life um, yeah, restaurant experience. Furthermore, we have a cooperation with Hilton Hotel Group. So the top students um, of the uh, hotel management program, <coughs> excuse me, uh, they get the opportunity to join the Hilton class, which means that you have a special um, uh, class with Hilton Hotel Group, uh, where you can also do your internship and hopefully offer a job later. This is one of the best programs in the Netherlands. Then we have several programs in the field of leisure and events. So the first is leisure and events management. Uh, the domain of leisure and events belongs to one out of only five world centers of excellence. We have an extensive international network in this field. And again, here you work a lot with real life assignments. So for leisure and events, you can think of everything that people like to do in their free time. For example, uh, sports, music, amusement parks. There's plenty of things you can focus on. Then we have also a Bachelor of Science in this field. This is the only academic degree program in the field of leisure in the Netherlands. And it is an interdisciplinary education preparing you for policy, strategy or research. So this one is more theoretical. Then we go to logistics. In logistics, we have two bachelor programs, logistics management and logistics engineering. The difference is that logistics management is focusing more on the economic and financial side, where logistics engineering is focusing more on the technical and IT side. We have a special program for highly talented logistics students, including a scholarship. For media, we have the Bachelor Creative Business, where you learn how to create creative concepts. You learn about consumer experience, trends and developments, scripts, formats, both in radio, TV, magazines, VRAR, and online media. We have our very own production house where you learn how to make radio. And you can do an internship either in Hilversum, where most of the Dutch uh, TV shows and programs are made, or in Houston, USA, of course, when it is safe to travel again. And again, this program won the first prize in the own category. Then also in tourism, we have several study programs. Uh, first of all, to start with tourism management. 
This is one of our oldest programs. So we have uh, 55 years of experience in this field. It is a broad economic degree program with focus on sustainable tourism, socioeconomic impact, digitization and experience design. And there's many options to shape your study according to your interests. We have also a Bachelor of Science Tourism, and this is a very special cooperation with Wageningen Research University. So this is a three-year bachelor where you study the first two years in Breda and the third year in Wageningen, which is another city in the Netherlands. This is again, because it's a Bachelor of Science, it is more theoretical. So it is about research developments in tourism and consequences for society, environment, and economy. And this is the only academic bachelor's program in the field of tourism in the Netherlands. We also offer a gaming program, which is quite unique. Uh, this is a program where you actually learn how to create a game. There is uh, four different study tracks. So you can choose for either visual arts, where you focus more on the, on the drawings, on the design of the characters, the backgrounds, the buildings, um, well, everything that you visually see in a game. Then there is also design. So that is more the storyline, the design of the game. Programming, well, that speaks for itself. And then we have a very uh, new track, which is called Artificial Intelligence. I will uh, tell more about that later. Um, we have our own gaming studio where you learn how to create the games and you work together with other students who chose a different track. So people from different specialties, they create the game together. This is one of the best study programs in the world and the first in the Netherlands. And we have partnerships with, among others, Sony, Epic Games and SideFX. I just mentioned already artificial intelligence and data management. This is a new track that will start in September 2021. Um, with this study program, you get courses about data science, AI, neural networks, programming in Python, ethics, and law. And you do projects in our own data lab, for example, about image recognition, data mining, and a project for the municipality of the city of Breda. Then we continue with the master programs. Uh, to stick with games, uh, we have the master game technology. All our master programs are one year, just to mention on beforehand. So again, this is also one year. There is a close collaboration with the international game industry, and we have a very international team of lecturers and professionals. In this master program, you can focus more on uh, studying the games and, and give advice about them. So you can uh, become a kind of consultant. Uh, lecture and events. We have um, an MBA program, and this is actually the program that uh, Adi did, so he will share about uh, this later. Um, but this is not like a typical MBA. This is about social and business innovations, uh, about new emerging complexity-based based approaches aiming at innovation by empowering creativity in a strategically envisioned direction. And I'm sure that Adi will uh, explain more later, so I will keep it at here. Then we have a Master of Science, Leisure and Tourism Studies. This is the only academic master in leisure and tourism, and it's very multidisciplinary because it combines both leisure and tourism. A very new master in the field of logistics. Um, this is the only study program that will start in February, but I must say that the, um, the deadline for application for February intake is already closed. So if you're interested, then it would be for the September 21 intake. Uh, with this, you learn how to organize and innovate supply chains. And again, there is close industry connections. This master was really created in collaboration with the industry. Master Media Innovation. This is where you learn how to create new and groundbreaking media concepts. It's in the top 10 of all our Dutch professional masters. And it's a very successful blend of theory and practice. Master of Tourism Destination Management. This is a very, very international master, of course, when it is safe to travel again. You learn how to develop strategies for responsible, resilient, and sustainable destination management. And after three months in Breda, you go on a three-month field trip. You go to three different destinations, and they differ a little bit every year, but usually the first month is a city destination in Australia, for example, Sydney or Brisbane. 
Then you go to an established tourist destination in Southeast Asia, for example, Bali. And then the third month, you go to a new tourist destination, usually also somewhere in Asia. After that, you do your thesis and you can choose where you do that. So you can either come back to Breda or you can do it in one of the three destinations that you have visited during your field trip. So these are all the uh, study programs that we have. We have also two pre-masters, which I will come to later. We focus a lot on talent, deve talent development and the right student in the right place. That is why we have selection programs for a selection for some of the programs and also study choice activities for the others. They are not binding, but they help you to make the right choice. We have three attracts uh, for students who did a higher level of uh, secondary school and excellence tracks, uh, for example, with Hilton Hotel Group and also uh, entrepreneurship. Should you wish you to start your own company, uh, then we will encourage you to do so. Um, then I mentioned that we have already two pre-masters. One is leisure and tourism. So this is uh, if you want to do a master in the field of leisure or tourism, uh, but you cannot access the master uh, directly because your bachelor degree is not um, at the level to be um, accepted. Then you can do this pre-master. Uh, both of them are one year. And the strategic business uh, management and marketing pre-master is very special. This is 75 ECTS instead of 60. And students can do this either as a fourth year of their regular bachelor, which means that they get a double degree. They get both a diploma for, for example, hotel management and for uh, this study program. Uh, or you can do this just as a one year pre-master. I mentioned already we do relevant research with the eye on the time. I will uh, go through this quickly. Uh, this is the inside of our um, uh, the convent, the new building that we have. We have 77 different student nationalities and we do have also students from uh, Indonesia. Here on the map, you can see uh, the orange colored countries are the countries where our students are coming from. Our partner universities, uh, we have also in uh, Indonesia. Industry partners, uh, some big names like uh, KLM, um, uh, Ubisoft, PlayStation, different hotel groups. I mentioned already Hilton, but also Marriott, Radisson. We cooperate with Google, Samsung, the Dutch ministry. So a lot of uh, different types of businesses. We are internationally recognized. Uh, I mentioned already the, the World Leisure Organization, but there's many more and nationally recognized. So we were the best specialist University of Applied Sciences in 2018-19, and we have a number of top rated programs. So very shortly about the city of Breda. Uh, this is a picture of the harbor of the city. As many Dutch cities, there's a lot of water. It was founded in 1251, uh, so it is a very historic city and you can see still a lot of historic buildings, which gives a lot of atmosphere. It has around 180,000 inhabitants, of which 20,000 students, which makes it for the Netherlands a medium-sized city, but yeah, for Indonesians it will be quite small. Um, but that makes it also safe, easy, accessible, but still vibrant because there's a lot of bars, restaurants. So if you want to go somewhere in the weekend, uh, that's also possible. The location in the Netherlands is in the south, so very close to Belgium. Um, but it's only one hour away from Amsterdam, also one hour from Brussels. And it's very convenient to take the plane or train to cities like London and Paris. When you are studying at Breda University of Applied Sciences, you have an EU Schengen visa, which means you can travel freely to all EU Schengen countries. A little bit about our campus. Um, this is also, since two years ago, we have all the buildings in one spot. Um, they are all redecorated and uh, we turned an old convent into classrooms and um, yeah, the Sibylicious uh, restaurant is there, the library, the food court. Uh, so this is really the place to study um, by yourself or with project groups um, and uh, also to relax. So this is the inside of the convent now. This is one of the other two buildings and the third building. 
how can you still um, find out more about BUAS? Uh, because this presentation is uh, quite short, so you can do a BUAS quiz to find out if we are the right institute for you. Um, we have a virtual campus tour, online open day. The next one is uh, in December. You can chat with our students via Ask a Student. Uh, we have a YouTube channel where you can find um, a lot of information and uh, videos about our study programs. And we are on social media. So please check this link for more information. About COVID, uh, the information on our website is updated. We follow government guidelines. Uh, at this moment, uh, we are still in the second wave. And as of 1st of December, a mask is mandatory in all public buildings. That is, And we have blended learning. So at the moment, it is both online and on campus. Then a little bit about our tuition fees. Um, I will go through this quickly. They are all around 10,000, depending on the exact uh, study program. Deadlines for bachelors, 1st of May, and for masters, 1st of June. We do have scholarships. Um, for bachelor, we have these three. They are not full scholarships, I have to mention. They are deduction of tuition fee. And then for master programs, Orange Knowledge Program is a full scholarship. And then especially for Indonesian students, we have Stunet and LPDP. And these are my contact details. So if you have any questions later, you can uh, always also send me an email or visit me um, or Adi tomorrow or the day after in our virtual booth. Then I will quickly give the word now to Adi uh, to introduce himself and to share his experiences. Uh, okay, thank you, Madeline, for uh, for your time and to giving me this nice opportunity. Okay, so to make it easier, I guess I will speak in Bahasa if you don't mind. Okay, uh, so nah, jadi uh, perkenal uh, pakai bahasa Indonesia aja ya. Jadi saya lulusan dari Imagineering. Saya dulu ngambil master di uh, di Breda University of Applied Sciences. Jadi ceritanya kenapa saya pilih kampus ini dulu saya tuh pengen milih kampus tuh yang yang benar-benar bisa saya tuh tektokan langsung sama profesor atau tektokan langsung sama dosen itu artinya saya pengen kampus tuh yang kecil tapi oke okay punya dan saya karena waktu itu pikirannya master tuh pengen campuran sama praktek karena udah capek teori dia satu jadi saya akhirnya saya milih uh, milih apa namanya milih applied sciences Nah, uh, jadi udah kayak gitu kenapa pilih imagineering? Jadi imagineering itu ketika saya saya pelajari silabusnya, saya pelajari uh, ininya, ternyata kampus ini tuh beda beda dari yang lain, bukan uh, jadi ceritanya gini loh, ketika misalnya kita ngomong ya, ini kan imagineering itu kan uh, lebih ke arah bisnis innovation ya. Ketika ketika orang lihat innovation itu tuh jadi ketika orang nyari suatu solusi mereka tuh nyari masalahnya apa. Nah kalau uh, dia ini benar-benar berbeda, uh, benar-benar beda. Jadi ketika mau nyari solusi ditanya potensinya apa, potensinya apa di uh, uh, di balik suatu kampus ini atau suatu apa. Jadi uh, karena saya memang mau cari yang beda banget uh, dari yang lain, akhirnya ya udah saya coba ngambil imagineering dan memang benar. Uh, jadi saya waktu itu ngambil di, di 2014 dan ini saya di 2016 uh, dan sekarang kalau untuk di karir saya sendiri yang sekarang memang itu kepake banget karena apa saya kan uh, di bidang uh, saya kan analis di pasar modal saya juga seorang trader saya juga seorang investor jadi dalam analisa saya harus tahu potensi suatu potensi suatu saham potensi suatu perusahaan potensi suatu Uh, suatu uh, bisnis environment tuh gimana dan itu benar-benar saya pelajari waktu saya belajar di engineering kemarin. Nah, terus uh, intinya kalau di Breda itu uh, benar-benar yang namanya campur antara teori dan praktek dan benar-benar semua dosennya tuh profesional, semua dosennya tuh oke, okay. benar-benar yang namanya komunikatif uh, komunikatif banget. Jadi benar-benar ketika lulus itu tuh nggak cuma belajar teorinya aja, tapi udah tahu kira-kira tuh harus uh, further step-nya tuh gimana. Nah, udah kayak gitu, waktu itu kenapa nemu kampus ini, ceritanya nggak sengaja, 
uh, ngobrol sama senior saya waktu S1, dia kebenaran juga alumni, jadi ngobrol-ngobrol tentang Breda waktu itu awalnya nggak tertarik. Nah, tapi akhirnya ketika iseng-iseng buka website-nya dan mempelajari website-nya, jadi tertarik juga. Dan ketika udah ini nggak ya, nyesel-nyesel juga gitu loh. Nah, apa namanya? Terus kalau untuk... Uh, Living in Breda ya karena ini di Breda jadi ketika udah saya bilang kampusnya kan kampus kecil tapi itu oke okay punya salah satu kampus terbaik meskipun kecil dan kotanya tuh juga kota kecil tapi kota kecil ini bener-bener yang namanya vibrant uh, apa namanya kayak you don't feel small in a small city gitu uh, bener-bener yang namanya asik apa aja ada di situ mau hiburan apa aja ada dan kalau misalnya kalau saya pribadi ya Kalau misalnya yang uh, living in Breda, saya kemana aja akses itu gampang, dekat. Dan itulah kenapa uh, ke, sebelum saya milih kota ini, saya juga dari research dulu. Jadi kota ini tuh dekatnya kemana-mana, kemana-mana aja. Jadi saya juga mikirkan, oh kalau misalnya saya, 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 saya bosan belajar, saya saya gimana, saya juga pengen ber sesuatu yang namanya, pengen refreshing, pengen apa. Nah, jadi karena terletak strategis banget, saya mau ke Belgia dekat, saya mau ke Amsterdam dekat, saya mau ke Jerman juga dekat. Jadi uh, inilah enak lah. Dan untuk apa ya dan tar uh, uh, tadi udah nah terus kalau misalnya yang studinya uh, apa namanya yang bikin saya juga seneng balik lagi karena berada itu juga kota internasional dan kampusnya itu juga kampus internasional saya waktu itu uh, yang murid reguler itu hanya murid reguler tuh kalau antara 4, eh, cuma 14 orang dan ditambah uh, siswa yang siswa yang eksekutif itu ada 10-an orang. Nah, jadi karena cuma belajar se- orangnya cuma segitu, itu lebih uh, lebih terfokus dan kerennya lagi itu benar-benar ada waktu itu tuh ada 8 nationality yang berbeda. Jadi benar-benar full internasional. It uh, kayak lingkungannya itu benar-benar kayak really really open your mind, uh, really open your point of view. Uh, it's jadi kayak bener-bener belajar culture yang lain aja gitu loh dan saya nggak ada ngerasa culture shock di sana karena di sana tuh karena lingkungan internasional dan bener-bener mereka tuh open semuanya. Nah uh, terus oke okay, living in Breda. Nah ini sebagai penutup ya. Jadi kalau misalnya kayak saya nih saya kan orang lidahnya tuh kan lidah deso lah kalau kata tukul itu lidah deso. Jadi saya harus nemu nasi, saya harus nemu makan masakan Indonesia dan tenang aja semua itu aman. Di Breda ada yang namanya restoran Asia dan saya ibaratnya kayak saking senangnya tuh saya kadang tuh suka masak dan bawa ke kampus dan makan bareng di sana. Jadi living there is was one of the most precious moment in my life. Dan studying in Breda, oh words cannot explain how how happy I was. to study there, it really, really encourages me, it really, really develops uh, develops my character, my mind, and yeah, so we're waiting for you in Breda, University of Applied Sciences later on, so yeah, I think that's all, okay, Madelon, uh, I'm done, so the floor is yours again. Okay, Adi, thank you so much. I could, of course, only understand the English what you said, but I was very happy that you shared in Bahasa because I think then the students can relate more. Um, so now I would like to ask. Sorry. Uh, no, no. Uh, the floor is yours. Yeah. I'm happy. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. So then I would like to ask if there are any questions. Okay. Thank you very much for a very extensive. explanation from you, Madeline, and from uh, Adi, from Mas Adi. Now we move on to question and answer session. There are several questions that I would like to ask to both of you. Number one is, is there any master program for built environment? Unfortunately, yes. okay. okay. Unfortunately not. That is uh, one of the few domains uh, where we don't have a master program. So that's for built environment. We have only a bachelor and for hotel management is also only a bachelor, unfortunately. Ah, okay. Okay, very well noted. Uh, second question. Um, okay, I will repeat the questions. My family has a farm tourism site and I want to improve our business to be a better tourism site with agricultural base. So if I want to continue for my master degree, 
do you recommend me to take Master of Science, Laser and Tourism Studies or Master Tourism Destination Management? Or do you have any other uh, major in mind that you will suggest? Uh, yeah, um, no, th these are the two masters that we offer in that field. Um, it depends also a little bit the background of this uh, student, which bachelor program the student has already done. Um, so I would really recommend to follow both webinars that we have about these study programs, because in this presentation, I could like only mention very shortly about them. So please take a look on our website and also follow both of the webinars. And there you can also ask the teachers uh, very specific questions about uh, your personal situation, because it's difficult for me to answer that now in a public uh, Q&A based on, on this information. Okay, so uh, any webinar participant can also join the next webinar and also our virtual fair on uh, Friday and Saturday. So if there's any further questions, you can ask directly during the virtual fair. Yeah, please. So uh, both Adi and me will uh, be there tomorrow and the day after in the virtual fair. So if this person, um, please approach me then, then I have a little bit more time to look into it. And uh, also, if you look on our website, www.buas.nl slash en for English, then you can find uh, under meet us all the um, yeah, the ways we have to connect with you, including the webinars. And there you can see the list of webinars. Registering is free. You can do as many webinars as you want. So there is no limit. Um, so please check uh, our website for that. Thank you very much for the explanations. Now we move on to the next questions. Um, Ms. Madeline, you have mentioned before that in Breda classroom is open only for small class. Uh, he wants the, the question uh, is they want to know how many students are in one class for master degree and if it only open for a class or for example more than 20 or more than 30 students will you open new class or just limit the the, the number of uh, students in one class for limited uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, so this differs per study program. For the masters, there is relatively small classroom. So maybe Adi can mention how many students he was with at that time, but usually for uh, the masters, it is under 20 or around 20. Um, with COVID now specifically, uh, we follow government guidelines and we can only allow 25% of our capacity on campus at the same time. That is why we have blended learning. So for every student that is mentioned very clearly, which class is online and on campus. And we do give priority to first year students because they are very new. So the first year students have on average two days or two parts of a day uh, on campus education. Okay. Maybe Adi, well, if you want to share something yeah. about- Yeah, Adi, if you class. have something to add. Yes, uh, at that time, like uh, in my master program at that time, like uh, there are two types of students. The first one is the regular students like uh, uh, like me and the executive one. So at that time, only 14 students, uh, 14 regular uh, regular students, and and there were uh, 10 executive students. So in total, there, uh, there were only 24 students uh, in one class. So uh, yeah. approximately oh, will be around yeah. that number, yeah? Yep, true, yeah. true. Okay. But I, I must have to add uh, that indeed we have uh, two executive programs, which is for Imagineering and also for media. Um, however, unfortunately, they are not accessible for non-European students. And this is because of EU guidelines. So that is not our choice, but that is the executive program is a part-time program and part-time programs are not accessible for non-European students. Okay, thank you for the explanations. Uh, next question is um, for international students, for example, from Indonesia, is there any international students organizations or provided by the university on guidance on adapting uh, in the Netherlands, maybe for the first uh, month or the first second months or during uh, the way to settle in with the new life in Netherlands? Is there any like 
student organization or the campus uh, provide help or guidance or something like that? Yeah, definitely. Um, we try to make every student feel like at home as soon as possible. So we have several ways. Uh, first of all, there is uh, ESN that stands for European Student Network, but it's not only for European students, it's for all students, Dutch and international from all around the world. So um, again, if you go to our website, you can find a link to ESN. They organize all kinds of activities from like uh, networking, also parties, um, they have also a buddy system, so we do cooperate with ESN for this, and the buddy system involves that you can be linked up already before you come to Breda uh, with an international student, preferably from the same country, so then you would be teamed up with someone from Indonesia. Um, ESN can also pick you up from the airport, and apart from that, we have our own introduction, so this is per... Uh, study program so then you already meet your uh, fellow students you get to know the city of Breda um, and now last September because of COVID we did this online so definitely we have ways to uh, connect and to um, make sure that you can meet other people okay. so Adi, if you have anything online? to add then please uh, join in is it still online uh, study right now during COVID? It is blended. Um, so we have both online and offline. And uh, for the students who are not able to travel to the Netherlands yet, uh, we still offer online education. And we try to make sure that, the, that those students have the, the ways to study. Uh, some projects can be adjusted. Um, but because we are University of Applied Sciences, we have a lot of practical work uh, project groups so we feel at when it is possible again it is important to be on campus at least um, part of the studies but we understand this is a difficult situation and we sincerely hope that by the time uh, that all these students will apply uh, that it's safe again to travel and just um, come to the city of Breda because that is of course part of the international experience that you live there that you study together with the other Dutch and international students and uh, get to know also the culture and the country. Okay, maybe Masadi would like to add something. Wait, so uh, uh, about the international organization like uh, actually in Breda we don't have PPE or or Perhimpunan Pelajar Indonesia, uh, uh, we don't have that uh, that kind of organization. So at that time, like uh, what I tried is uh, to settle something up. Uh, I found a group. Uh, uh, I found a group in uh, in Facebook, and at that time, like uh, I asked. Uh, so at that time, like uh, I sent a message to PPI Belanda Facebook group in PPI Belanda. So I asked everything about how to travel to the Netherlands. And uh, to find a room, or uh, or about the transportation, and uh, uh, yeah, 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 etc. Et because like at that time, I, I departed alone, so I went alone. Uh, I took care all, uh, all all by myself. So yeah, uh, what I can suggest is uh, go to Facebook group, uh, find uh, PPI Belanda, and then uh, at that time, like there were many students will uh, will. Will assess, will assist you with, uh, with any kind of, of information about living and uh, how, uh, like what and and, and everything uh, you need to do right after you arrive in uh, in in, uh, in the Netherlands. Hey, it's a very brave of you, Mas Adi. <laughs> Travel. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, um, Mas Adi and Miss Madeline, thank you very much for your time and also for your explanations. We do hope that many international, future international students from Indonesia will be interested to join Breda University. And do not forget to everyone uh, on the webinar participants. We do have virtual fair on Friday and Saturday, so please do not forget to join us on event.ehav.id. So please stay tuned. Uh, on Friday and Saturday. To Ms. Madeline and uh, Mr. Adi, thank you very much once again for your time. We hope yep, that the please. pandemic will be over soon so we can start studying again abroad and enjoy the city of Freedom. Thank you very okay, much sure. and please take care of yourself.
Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good day. You too. Have a good day. <laughs>